So good morning, everyone, and welcome to this new 40 day practice called the return of the light. And in this practice, we're going to be doing something new in that we're going to be following the transit of the sun. So we're actually going to be kind of really tuned in to the return of the light through the sun's transit. And every five days, we will go through a different gene key and we'll be doing the mudra for that gene key. But let's begin, first of all, um, by starting with Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, tuning into our higher self. So take in a deep breath in and out. And in Om Namo Gurude Namo Om Namo Gurude Namo Om Namo Guru Namo hmm, So just relaxing into the breath. So we're going to be doing in this next 40 days um, a trinary breath um, where we will be using the Gia Mudra. So I invite you to take up that Mudra, it's a really precise connection between the forefinger and the thumb, just very light. And for this particular exercise, we're going to be putting our fingers straight up, perpendicular. And for the breath, we're going to be taking in two breaths through the mouth and one out through the nose. And we're going to be doing that in a three second cycle for around three minutes. So off we go, through the mouth, out through the nose, two through the mouth, and out through the nose. And just having the eyes slightly open, out through the nose. Just finding your relaxation, your own pace, this trinary breath. Two through the mouth, one out through the nose, finding your own rhythm in the breath.
And on the next breath, holding in, bringing the hands to prayer position, pushing them strongly against each other, keeping the breath held in, holding, pushing all the energy through your hands until they shake. And then releasing. <sighs> Taking in another deep breath and this time pushing the hands straight up. Pushing the hands towards the sky, tensioning the body. Let that breath roll around every cell in your body. Clearing out, releasing, awakening, and then releasing. <sighs> mm. So our next exercise, a bit more physical and a nice one um, for arousing our energies. And we're going to be staying in Gia Mudra rolling the hands in a forward motion. And for this, we can either do slow breathing um, at our own pace, or we can go into the breath of fire. And I invite you to go as fast as you can. We're going to be doing this for three minutes. Um, if your arms start to get tired, um, then have a, a bit of a rest. Um, but yeah, so let's go into that. And the breath of fire is like a panting from the solar plexus, but through the nose. And just imagine this fast motion, clearing your aura, clearing the solar plexus, the heart energies. And exciting the aura, exciting the atomic levels of your being into celebration of the return of the light. Imagine this as an energetic spring clean, opening us up to receiving the light as we return from the solstice. Just the last 30 seconds on this.
Bringing the hands up. Holding the breath in and pushing the hands up again to the sky. Feel the fingers stretch up, holding the breath in, feeling all that excited atomic energy swirling around your body, waking you up for the day. Holding, holding. And then releasing. <laughs> So just placing the hands on your knees for a bit to so just talk into um, what we're going to be doing for the next 40 days. So this is a very deeply rooting and anchoring practice that we are going to be doing. So it helps with our sense of stability, integrity in our physical form. Uh, it's going to help with emotional security, um, really kind of committing to life in a human form. Uh, some of us have quite a big issues with that. Um, and really anchoring the spirit into the body. So the first part of that is um, the mantra, which is called Hummy Hum, Brahm hum. So these these sound the hum sound um, is very healing of itself. So please do sing along because the singing helps to bring that healing deep into the body. And hummy hum is the earth, the form energy, and Brahm hum is the um the heavenly formless etheric energy so in this mantra is very simple um hummy hum brahm hum we're uniting heaven and earth in the heart and we're inviting the spiritual energy to anchor into our physical form and for our physical form to respond to that spiritual energy coming in and raise its vibration. Um, we're going to be doing the Tibetan form of the mantra and um, and it creates this amazing kind of bee hum, which uh, I really love and feels like it resonates with this very fast um, activity we've been doing before. And part of our new consciousness is moving into a more from an I to a we consciousness. And the bees are really our guides in, in how to achieve that, um, that transition in consciousness. So in the mantra, um, you take in a deep breath. You're going to we're going to try and do all um, eight of the very fast one on one breath. That may take a little bit of mastering, though we've all been doing the miracle mantra, so we probably can do this. Um, and then there's three slow ones. So um, when I start the mantra, um, it's going to start very quickly. So just listen once through. And then on the second one, take that breath in and start to um, recite it. OK, and um, so we're going to be following the sun's transit through the gene keys, which are connected to different parts of the zodiac. So today on the 1st of January, um, we are in gene key 38 um, and gene key 38 in the I Ching is called the warrior of light. So this is a really perfect mantra for us to begin. Um, and each of the gene keys has a mudra. And so we're going to be doing this mudra actually for the next four days uh, because of where we started. But mostly we'll do a different mudra every, every five days we'll switch. But for now, we're going to be doing this is called the bear mudra. And we're really holding this powerful protective space of our aura 
And I like this idea of the integrity of the body, like the integrity of a building. And this integrity is really linked to us living in integrity. So the strength comes from our own choices to live in the way that we value. Um, and you can do it either way. Um, it's, we're going to be doing the mantra for 11 minutes. It can get a bit hard on the arms. So if you need to, just put your arms down. But you can also swap over um, and try and do both sides during those 11 minutes. Okay, so let's let's jump into that. Um, please indicate to me, anyone, if this doesn't work, but I'm going to mute myself and Okay, I'm not working. Sorry about that. I don't know why it stopped suddenly. Me, uh... At the core of a happy, fulfilled, abundant life. At the core of a... Ha 
Coming out of the mudra, relax your hands into your, into your thighs. Just allowing some moments to let the sound current, physical exertion, the energetics of this high frequency of honor and integrity in this 38th gene key. Settle into your physical being. I'm going to be reading today and some of the days. And it feels right um, from the Gene Keys book. And as we go through the sequences, um, I'll begin with the shadow, move to the gift, and end with the city. So through those five days, we we're actually moving into the higher and higher frequencies. Okay, so. It's talking about the 38th gene key with its struggle of shadow, and it calls it a fight without purpose. This is an ancient genetic programming based on individual survival. Both these shadows, the 38 of struggle and the 39 of provocation, have strong connections with the animal kingdom through their role within early hominid history. Before we begin an exploration of the darker side of this 38th gene key, one should hold the following perspective. Without either of these shadows, there would probably be no humans walking the earth today. This can be a very dark place within the genetic matrix because it represents a primal earth energy whose main instinct when threatened is aggression. In animals, this natural ferocity is embodied in the behavior of the mother when her cubs are threatened. As this aspect of DNA developed in human beings, it became the foundation of the evolutionary law of the survival of the fittest. This gene key is also deeply connected to individual health and well-being. So here is our first day's contemplation. 
um, on where did this idea of the survival of the fittest come from and how does it shape our aggressive tendencies uh, as human beings? Okay, so um, as is the tradition on Soul Tribe, um, today you might like to place a some an intention in the chat for your whole 40 day journey or just for today it's up to you and um and we'll read those out and hold them all together So for Teresa, new beginnings, expansion, love and peace. Yes. For Kristen, expansion. Yes. For Diane, anchoring spirit. Yes. For Patricia, being the light, living my purpose. Yes. And for Laurie, equilibrium yes and for myself honor and integrity yes so with that let's gather in all our prayers and intentions and let's see them i like what danny did with the 40 days see them coming down through the the formless presence of ether through the air, the fire, the water, and the earth. And we'll send these prayers and intentions out into the cosmos with one long sat and a short noun. So taking a deep breath in, Sat now. May there be peace, may there be love, may there be honor for all people here on earth. Sat now. So I will be doing the recording every five days. So um, as we change gene keys, so this will be up there. If you miss today, you can catch up. I mean, if you miss any of the next few days. And um, just to let you know that the cleanse starts today with Tara. Yay! <laughs> I can't wait. And um, astrology is also on today, and I'll be doing an overview of looking at some of the most important things happening in the early part of the year. So see you maybe later or tomorrow. Satnam. Bye. Satnam. Thank you, Alison. Satnam. Thank you. Happy New Peace, Year. Everyone. Yeah, happy, happy new year. year. Happy new year. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>